Now let's solve the following problems in our lecture two. Now consider this lecture or this is slide, slide number 20. It's some exercise problems natin. So that is sabi dito, hindi ko na mabasahin. If the results of an analysis are 36.97 grams compared with the accepted value of 37.06, what is the relative error in parts per thousand? So we all know, guys, that the formula for relative error is equals to RE is equals to absolute value of absolute error all over the standard value times 1,000. Sir, by times 1,100. Kasi nga ang hinahanap dito sa problem natin is expressed in terms of parts per 1,000. So let's expand the formula further, which is the, the formula for the well, measured value minus the standard value, absolute value, all over standard value times 1,000. Now, ano ba yung ating measured value? Sabi dito is 36.97 gram kasi that is the results of the analysis. So, 36.97 minus the standard value which is the accepted value. So, therefore, that is 37.06 absolute value all over 37.06 times 1,000. Now, we will have an answer. Oh, may sagot naman na, pero syempre, i-calculate ko pa rin for the sake of corrections pa rin. 7.06 times 1,000. So, we have an answer of 2.43 PPT. So, that's the one. Now, sir, saan po ba nanggaling yung formula na yan? Ang formula na yan is nanggaling dito sa may ating formula method here. Ayan, dyan siya ng galing. And huwag kayo mag-alala, open naman yan since ko naman, hindi ko naman kinikita ang ginagamit. Hindi. Basta open yan, guys. Kahit na sa quiz, kahit na quiz to quiz classes, nagpapa-open na all ng formulas. Now, let's go on to the next problem which is on slide number 21. Ano bang sinasabi sa may slide number 21? Okay. Calculate the mean and standard values for the set measured of values. Now, ano ba yung mga formula na yun? Again, titingin ka dito. Okay, the standard deviation is this formula and then the standard and then the mean is just an average. It's just an average. Now, solve na natin. Now, in order to calculate the mean, to calculate the mean, it's, it's just an average. Siyempre, to calculate for the mean, we just x equals to what are the data? 15.67 plus 15.69 plus 16.03 all over ilan yung data natin? 1, 2, 3. So that is 3. So, ang ating magiging sagot ay 15.80. May sagot naman na. Ayan. So for standard division naman, we all know that this is a formula niya is summation, square top summation of individual values minus mean value squared all over n minus 1. Now, paano ba yan mangyayari? Now, since it is a summation, so individual data minus mean, syempre, ganyan lang yan. That is 15.67, that's the data number 1. Ano ba yung mean natin? 15.80 minus 15.80. And then for individual data number 2, for x2 minus mean mark number 2, it's just 15.69 minus 15.80, 15.80 equals equals. And then for data point number 3, that is x3 minus 3 is equal to 16.03. Minus 15.80. And ayan yung mga magiging sagot natin. So therefore, 15.67 minus 15.80 is equals to negative 0 0.13. And then for 15.69 minus 15.80 is negative 0 0.11. Negative 0, uh, 0 0.11. And then for kung naman is just is. 16.03 minus 15.8 is a kung natin ay 0 0.23. 0 0.23. Ngayon, ito nga daw ngayon, since naasaad sa may formula natin, is e squared natin silang lahat. Pasensya na sa may sulat ko. So, e squared natin lahat yan. We all know this is multiply by itself. So, negative 13 times negative, thir negative 0 0.013 times negative 0 0.13 is mag-yield siya ng positive value which has a uh, value of 0 
0.0169. And then for the other, negative 0 0.11 squared, it's just a 0 0.1, 0 0.0, 0 0.0, 0 0.0, 0 0.0121. And for the other, 0 point, that is 0 0.23 uh, squared. And it has a value of 0 0.0529. Ayan. Now, get the sum, which itong symbol na na ito is just its summation. So, kukunin niyo yung sum, sum niya. So, 0 0.0169 plus 0 0.0121 plus 0 0.0529 is equals to 0 0.0819. So, insert na natin. So, standard deviation is equals to square root of 0. 0, 0.819 all over ilan yung data 3 minus 1 is equals to ilan yung magiging sagot natin and that is 0, 0, 0, 0.202 now ang problem dito sa standard deviation natin guys is kapag masyado ng maraming data points masyado siyang time consuming and kapag nagkamali ka ng input is mamamali na yung sagot mo sa standard deviation so, sa may first video ko, or second video ng ating module 2.1 na nasa doon is pinakita ko sa inyo kung paano gamitin yung calculator o shortcut para makuha agad yung standard division and other statistical values given the data. So, that is for sample problem number 2. Ngayon, punta naman tayo sa may sample problem number 3. Ngayon, dito kasi guys, is um, sample problem number 3, which of the following set of data is more precise. Paano ba natin malalaman kung saan dito yung more precise? It's just a kung ano, lower the standard deviation that is more precise. The lower the standard deviation na sinabi kanina, that is more precise. Asensya na sa sulat ko. Ngayon, calculate natin yung standard deviation ng set A and standard deviation ng set B. Now, syempre, kung gagamit ka ng mano-mano, time consuming yan. And I will use the calculator here na gamit, gamit ko ngayon, 821. Gagamitin ko siya for the sake of time saving, time consumption kasi I only have 40 minutes to discuss and ang standard deviation ng ating kwan natin is 4, that is 30.26 for set A. What about set B? Okay, set B, ang standard deviation ng set B natin is 790. Uh, and then, sorry, wait lang. Ini-input ko lang yung mga data points natin sa ating calculator in order to kwan. Now, ang mag-kwan daw niya dito is, that is point A point and 28.91. So, which one has a lower standard value? Siyempre, set B. So, therefore, the lower the, stan the standard deviation, the more precise the data is. So, therefore, set B is the more precise data. Okay. Next. Exercise problem number three. Now, this calculation involves a confidence interval. Okay. Ano ba yung confidence interval? Uh, sorry. Confidence interval calculation. Okay. Unang-una dito is, syempre, uh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, formula niya is mu, pa, uh, mean positive negative st all over square root of the number of population. Now, hanapin natin yung mga values na yan. So, what is the mean? Siyempre, using the data points na manggagaling dito is makuha ninyo yung mean natin. But, I will do the shortcut method again para ma-conserve yung time natin sa pag-discuss. 12.7 and... 12.5. That is, ang mean natin from this data is 12.54. Standard deviation based from the calculator is, is 0 0.403. Sir, ano naman ay uh, n is ilan ba yung data points natin? There are 5 data points. Paano naman yung t? Yung t natin is madedetermine nyo, excuse me, doon sa may, di ba? tayo ay naakwan sa my confidence limit or confidence interval. T-value is just n minus 1. 
So ano yung confidence level? So 90%. 90%. And ano yung degrees of freedom natin? That is N. And minus 1 is 4. So ang p-value natin for this stat is, ilan daw? Is 2.132. Now we now have our given. So solve na natin. Q is 12.54. Positive, negative, 0 0.4. 0, 3 times 2.132 all over the square root of 5. Now, bakit may range ba dito? Kasi nga, kunin ninyo yung lower limit and upper limit natin. So, 12.54 positive, negative. Ah, isosolve ko lang saglit. Okay. 0 0.403 0 403 times 2 2.132 times square root of 5, that is 0 0.38. Now, in order to calculate for the lower value, ano ba yung lower value natin? That is 12.54 minus 0 0.38. And for the upper value or UP is 12.54 plus 0 0.38. So that's equals, equals so 12.54 as 0 0.38 minus 0 0.38, I shall say, is 12.16. And the upper limit is, naalagay naman dyan, is 12.92. So therefore, the confidence interval of the glycoprotein at 90% confidence level is 12.16 to 12.92. So that is our answer for sample problem number five. Now take a screenshot and we will proceed to the next problem. Okay. Next problem natin is sample problem number five. Okay. In this set of data, 12.53, 12.47, and 12.48, is 12.67 considered a bad point at confidence level? The answer is no. Ano ba kasi mangyayari dito? Yung as in 12.67 natin dito sa so from sample problem number 5 is isa daw yung ating outlier. So, inoconsider daw yung 12.67 natin as the outlier. Now, is it a bad point or not? Magkakaroon tayo dito ng Q test or rejection of the outlier. Ano ba ang panat niya? So, using the method, the Q call is equals to gap or all over range. Now, I'll, I will double check the formula on ano ba yung, ano, ano to, so gap of range. Sir, ano po ba yung gap and range na yan? Now, sa may formula natin, so meron tayo. Yung range natin is highest absolute value of highest value minus lowest value. And then yung gap natin, ano ba yun? First and foremost is to array the data from highest to lowest. So, i-array natin is, that is 12.47, 12.48, and ano yung susunod is 12. 12.53, 12.56, and 12.67. Ngayon, ang gap na tinutukoy dito is yung between here, dito sa may dalawang to. And it is an absolute value naman. So therefore, our Q cal will be absolute value of 12.67 minus 12.56. Yan, all over the range, which is the 12.67 minus 12.47. And ang answer natin dito sa may sagot na ito ay, calculate ko muna using my calculator. Aha, 12.67 minus 12.47. Here, ang sagot natin ay 0 0.55. That is the QPAL. Ano yung nasa Q tab natin? Okay. Ano ba yung sinasabi sa problem? 95% confidence level. Now, paano ba natin malalaman kung ano ang gagamitin natin? Now, using this one here, is malalamin nyo using the N. Ilan ba yung number population? Ang N natin dito, guys, is ilan? Number population. There are five number of population. So, gagawin lang dyan is pinpoint the five. And anong confidence level daw? It's 95%, 5, 95%. So 
So 0 0.710 ang ating value sa may QCal. 0 0.710. Now, sa may QCal natin, QCal and QTAB. And indicate natin 0 0.55 is and 0 0.710. Now, since syempre we all know that the QTAB, that the QCal is less than the QTAB, so therefore, the kung natin sa na dito. Therefore, uh, wala dito. Since nasa may principle naman siya here. Ito, QCAL is less than QTAB. So the suspected outlier is retained. So therefore, the 12.67 data is not considered a bad point. So marirretain yung ating data, 12.67. This one is retained and it is not a bad point. That is retained. And the answer now is fun point is no. No. Okay, take a screenshot and let's proceed to the next problem. Okay. Now, some problem na tayo. Okay, dito naman. Now, here is at all. Sample problem number six and seven will be your assignment. So I will write it down. Namuna, sing my pen. That is your first assignment to me. Sample problem number six and seven. That will be your assignment. Is a good naman na just show me the solution. Okay, punta naman tayo sa next problem natin which is the propagation of errors. Okay, for sample problem number 7, propagation of errors na tayo. Okay, the initial and final reading of Oburet in a given titration are 1.05 and 27.40 ml respectively. Ngayon, since isang instrument lang naman ang ginamit dito which is the Oburet, so therefore, ano daw ba yung reading na titrant natin? Okay, it's just this one. Ano ba yung reading? Kasi from 27.0, ang reading daw is 1.05. So ano daw yung reading ng pan natin? Reading correction ng ating iPad. So ang mangyari lang dito is 27 point, uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. 27, ang magiging reading lang niya is 27.40 minus 1.05. That is 26.0. 26.35 Pero paano ba natin i-report kasama yung kanyang standard deviation? Kasama yung stand, kanyang standard deviation. Now we have here the propagation of error which is the formula. Ano ba yung ginawa natin sa problem? Nag-add ba tayo? Nag-multiply? Exponentation? Logarithm? Logarithm? Or anti-logarithm? Nagkaroon na tayo ng addition or, or subtraction so therefore this one will be the standard deviation will be used. Since ang ginamit lang natin is isang instrument, so therefore, iisa lang siya. Yan, uh, dapat I forgot to include this error na 0.05 ml minus 1.05 and 0.05. That is 26.35. But what is the propagation of error? So based from the formula, it's just a square root ang uh, magiging propagation of error natin is nandito naman siya sa so may ating uh, one. Uh, but F test na nandito. Ito, ayan. So it's just a square root of 0 0.05. Ayun siya. Plus 0 0.05. Sir, bakit zero, parehong 0 0.05? Kasi isang equipment lang naman yung ginamit natin. Which is the buret and yung standard deviation nila. Based from the instrument, yun nga, dapat aralan natin sa may identification of errors, determinate and indeterminate errors is kumito. So therefore, our, our answer will be 0 0.05 squared. Na-type ko na siya sa may calculator. And ang sagot natin is 0 0.0707. Ito yung variation natin. So therefore, ang ire-report ninyong data ninyo is 26 0.35 times positive, negative, kasi standard deviation 
is 0 0.07. Sir, bakit po 0 0.07 lang hindi 0 0.07? 0, 0.707 kasi we are following the proper significant figures. Yes. Proper significant figures. So, take a screenshot and let's proceed to our next problem. Now let's proceed to sample problem number nine. This is actually number nine. Nagkamali lang ako ng type dito. So let's solve this problem in terms of propagating the errors. Ay, mali. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Now let's solve this problem. Solve natin itong problem na to. Calculate the molarity of sodium hydroxide solution using a balance with a standard deviation of 0 0.05. And dissolving it enough water in a 500 ml volumetric flask with a standard deviation of 0 0.08 ml. Paano ba mangyayari dito? Now, we all know the formula of molarity is just a uh, molarity is equals to mass solute all over the molecular weight of solute times the liter. So pag-aralan nyo yan sa inyong general chemistry ninyo. So ano daw yung mass ng sodium hydroxide? Is 5.25 grams with a standard deviation of 0 0.05. All over the molecular weight. Ano ba yung molecular weight ng sodium hydroxide natin? We all know this. The molecular weight or formulate of sodium hydroxide is the summation of atomic weight present in the element. Maikita niyan sa inyong periodic table. Let's say, for example, lang atomic weight ng sodium hydroxide is around of na is 23. Atomic weight ng oxygen is rounded of na rin 16. That's actually 15.99. And yung atomic weight naman ng ating hydrogen is 1. So therefore, that will be 40 grams per mole. Sir, saan po makikita yung mga atomic weights? Yun ay nasa periodic table. So 40 grams per mole all over ilang liters daw? 500 milliliter. So in terms of liters, so sa daw ay 500 milliliter convert it into liters. So, divide nyo lang sa 1,000 and shut down ay my value. Uh, ito, uh, divided by 1,000 na may standard deviation na, sorry, hindi to, oh na, hindi to kasama. Standard deviation na 0 0.08 ml. Now, ano bang sagot natin sa molarity? Siyempre, mag-isagot natin is 5.25 times 40 times 0 0.5 liter is 0... Uh, nasa na? Nasa na yung pen? 0 0.2625 moles per liter. Sir, sa nagaling units? Kasi nga, cancel yung amps. And then, uh, 1,000 ml per liter. So, ma-cancel yung ml. So, matitira is moles per liter. Now, ano yung report natin na standard deviation dyan? Ngayon, ano ba nangyari dito? Is it addition, subtraction, sa may propagation ng error natin, multiplication division, exponentation, logarithm, or anti-logarithm? Ang nangyari dito, guys, is multiplication or division. So, therefore, ito yung formula na nagagamitin natin. So, therefore, that is SY over Y equals to standard deviation of, uh, tama ba yung formula na nagamit ko? Yeah. Standard deviation of A and uh, A here squared plus the standard deviation of B all over B. Okay, ano ba yung pwede natin i-consider? And ano ba yung pwede natin i-consider na A? Yung mass ng sodium hydroxide and yung B natin is the volume in the volumetric flask. So, therefore, Magiging ko natin is a square root of 0 0.05 all over 5.25 square 
third here plus 0 0.08 all over uh, in terms of theater 0 0.5 here is squared and since ito cross multiplication so therefore 0 0.2625 times the product of this. Ano yung magiging product na dito? Siya daw ay 0 0.05 5.25 Wait lang ha. Plus 0 0.08 over 0 0.5 squared. That is 0 0.16 and then Multiplying it into 0 0.2625, you will have the answer of 0 0.042. So therefore, the reported answer na indicate naman doon will be with the standard deviation of positive, negative, 0 0.042 molarity. Sir, saan ang galing po yung positive, negative? Kasi nga, every time you squaring root you will in always include a positive negative sign. Sorry for not including it. So that's for propagation of the errors. Okay, I will end my discussion here and let's go on to the part three of our discussion. Kasi para masyadong na siyang mahaba. And... That's it. Screen record. Come on now.